Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Good morning to one and all Chapter 6 Social Science 2 Geography Population We finish with the population density of population of India and Brazil the sec ratio of India and Brazil the age and sec pyramid of India and Brazil your page number 38 39 density of population population of India and Brazil then you have your sec ratio of India and Brazil page number 40 then you have page number 41 where your age and sex pyramid is there today we are in for population growth of both the countries according to various census 1960 70 80 90 and 2000 but in india it is 1961 71 81 91 2001 and 2011 again your x-axis shows you constant that is you telling your years and y-axis telling you the growth rate of population in percentage starting with 0 0.0 0 0.51 1.5, 2.5, 3 and so on and so forth. What do you, these graphs show? The, these graphs show the growth rate of population of India and Brazil. You can see the growth rate of Brazil is decreasing. It was, nine, in 1960 it was 3, in India in 1961 it was in 1971 there was an increase to 2.4 in India but it has dropped in 1971 right to 2.3 in Brazil according to 2011 census India has gone right below 1.5 in that way and Brazil in 2000 has gone right down to 0.3% that means the growth rate is showing different C. Oh, but here the graph line is going down Y. That means the growth rate, it does not mean that the population is decreasing. Remember that. The growth rate is decreasing because of various types of calamities, natural calamities or epidemics or pandemics in that way. But it does not mean that the population is decreasing. Correct. Though the lines show a downward trend, it is showing a downward trend both in Brazil as well as in India, but it does not mean, it doesn't mean population is decreasing. It shows that the growth is lesser than the previous decade. Growth of population is lesser. That means the population is stable, the population is increasing, not that no, but the rate of growth has decreased from 1961 to 2011 in India and 1960 to 2000 in Brazil even though but the way Brazil is decreasing its growth rate a time does that mean the Brazil population is decreasing no this means that the growth rate is less looking at the trend in the near future Brazil population may decrease but in the way Brazil population is showing a decrease in the growth rate if it continues in the same manner in the same way then it may have a problem of that the growth rate of population will decrease in the country of brazil but in india it is not in such a manner the rate of growth of population has reduced considerably in brazil however this is not the condition in india from 2001 to 2011 india's population increased by 18.2 crores India's population growth rate has higher till 1971. This rate stabilized. Stabilized means became constant. The rate of population growth is now declining, but the population is still growing. The rate is declining. It means the population speed of growing is less, but yet the population is not decreasing. Yet the population is on the growing part of it. It is observed that in Brazil the rate of growth is declining and the Brazil population may not increase in the next two decades. That means in Brazil the rate at how what it is decreasing or declining or depreciating in the position where Brazil is moving about a time may come or a decision may be taken where the population of Brazil may start decreasing. 
any questions any doubt regarding your figure 6.5 page number 42 according to your population growth rate of India and Brazil you can call me you can chat with me you can ask me any question you feel like as and when you require now that no next topic uh, on page number 43 is life expectancy what do you mean by life expectancy these graphs show the life expectancy of Brazil and in India don't they yes but what is life expectancy life expectancy means the average number of people number of years a person born in a country is expected to live that means the age of a particular person from the birth date to the death date is in that particular way you need not get worried India and Brazil are having a good way in the on your x-axis it is turning you years 10 years range is there 1960 70 80 90 90 2000 2010 2016 obviously we this book was printed published and distributed in the year of 2017 18 sorry 18 19 syllabus so in that case it is showing you the latest calculation of 2016 y axis is telling you life expectancy that means the number of people born in that particular year in that particular decade sorry this means the average number of people number of years a person is born in a country is expected to live remember expected to live obviously you can never ever predict your the birth rate or the child expectancy or the life expectancy of any person obviously the way you cannot predict rainfall same way you cannot predict life expectancy in that particular manner but yet this means the average number of years a person born in a country is expected to live this means that we indians live for 68 years on an average whereas brazilian live for 75 years yes the life expectancy of india was around 41 years in 1960 but now it has increased it will continue to increase in near future that means in 1960 if you see the life expectancy was just 41 years but now in 2016 the life expectancy is 68 whereas in brazil in 1960 it was 54 and in now in 2016 it is 75 years that means we are developing we are living with better improvement with better indicators with better digitalization and getting more technology updated we're getting more medicines updated and life is being much more easy and living in a specified manner rather than deaths increasing life is bettering ourselves in that way increase in life expectancy is an indicator of development of that society improvement in medical facilities progress in medical field access to nutritious food leads to an increase in an average life expectancy in most of the people in most of the developing countries life expectancy is still less but with socio-economic development it is increasing in such a way now if you have your doubts if you have any queries if you have any problems anything you not understood you can ask me anytime and you can refer to your youtube with phonics educare and you can re refer to any other net you can use to any other books you can uh, refer to any other guide or your master keys or your reference books in such a manner and in such a way you can go ahead in life with that particular working if you have doubts regarding sex ratio age pyramid and in the same way telling you about the population growth of india and brazil where the growth rate has been increasing even though the graph shows a decline in the such a particular manner and the life expectancy of india and brazil you can see it has been increasing right from the year 1960 India was 41 Brazil was 54 Nine, in 1971 India was 48 and Brazil was uh, in 1970 it was 59 and in the same manner 
it kept on increasing slowly and steadily in such a way. So, this is the lecture for today for chapter 6. Any questions, any queries, any problems, any doubts, most welcome to call me, chat with me. I'm available 365, round the clock. So, we Haraians always ready to help, ready to work in such a manner and in such a way. So, God bless Hera and take care of us also. And in such a way, let's hope, always be positive, go ahead in life. Thank you. Jazakallah.